Mr. LaPierre, in 1999, you testified before the House Judiciary Committee, and you testified, quote, nobody's more committed than we are to keeping guns out of criminals' hands. That's obviously in our best interest, close quote. I assume you're still just as committed to keeping guns out of the hands of criminals. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And would you agree that we should um, prosecute and punish those who help criminals get guns? If you're talking about straw man sales, we've said straw man sales well, should be prosecuted for years. There are about six to eight statues on the books right so, now. So you agree that we should prosecute and punish those who help criminals get guns? Abs if someone is doing a straw man sale, they should be prosecuted, absolutely. Now, in your testimony in 99, you supported mandatory instant criminal background checks for every sale at every gun show. So let me ask you this. Do you still, as you did in 1999, still support mandatory background checks at gun shows? Yes or no? We supported the national instant check system on dealers. I, we were here when Senator Birch by one of your colleagues, held the hearings in terms of uh, who would be a dealer and who would re be required to have a license. If you did it for livelihood and profit, yes. If you were a hobbyist, let's, let's make right, it no. let, let's make it easier though. I'm talking about gun shows. Should we have mandatory background checks at gun shows for sales of weapons? If you're a dealer, that's already the law. If you're talking, that's not my question, please, Ms. Lapierre. I'm not trying to play games here, but. If you could, it'd help everything. Just answer I, my I, question. I do not believe the way the law is working now, unfortunately, that it does any good to extend the law to private sales between hobbyists and collectors. Okay, so because you do not the, support mandatory background checks in all instances of gun shows? I, I, we do not because the fact is the law right now is a failure the way it's working. The fact is that you have 76,000 some uh, people that have been denied under the present law, okay. only 44 were prosecuted. You're letting them go. They're walking and, the streets. And do you, then do I understand, They're, back in 99, you said no loopholes anywhere for anyone, but now you do not support background checks for all buyers of firearms. I think the national instant check system, the way it's working now, is a failure because this administration is not prosecuting the people that they catch. They're not... 23 states are not even putting the mental records of those adjudicated mentally incompetent of a system. Now, to assume that if you don't prosecute and they try to buy a gun, even if you catch them and you let them walk away, to assume they're not going to get a gun, they're criminals, they're homicidal maniacs, and they're mentally uh, ill. I mean, we all know that homicidal maniacs, criminals, and the insane don't, 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 Mr. don't Mr. abide Mr. by the law. Up here, my time is up. With all due respect, that was not the question I asked, nor but, did you answer. But I think it is the answer. I honestly do. I, the the okay. fact. It's your testimony. Thank you, Senator Grassley. Yeah.